Welcome back. So up till now we have covered all the 2D concepts in 12 tutorials. From today onwards we will be concentrating on isometric concepts. So how to create isometric drawing in AutoCAD. So before that we will see some basics of isometric. So this is one of the sample isometric cube. Then these lines are at 30 degree to the horizontal line. Both the lines are at 30 degree with respect to horizontal axis or x axis we can say that. And if we consider that this horizontal line is at suppose 0 degree. If we consider that this line is at 0 degree then this next line will be at 30 degree with respect to 0. And this vertical line will, will be at 90 degree with respect to 0. And this line will be at 150 degree and this is at 180 degree. So we can conclude that these three lines are at 30 degree and these three lines are at 150 degree and these three lines are at 150, sorry, 90 degree. So that is the basics of isometric. So we will start how to create this isometric drawing. So we will be starting new drawing. So at first, you to change your cursor to isometric you have to give snap command so I will give snap then enter then just right click and take style option after that select isometric option and for specific vertical spacing you just press enter we don't have to give any spacing there so uh, you can see that there is green and red cursor is there and it has automatically aligned with one of the plane of isometric. But it is jumping. If you observe it, it is not flowing smoothly. It is jumping. So you can uh, stop that jumping using this snap mode. We have to make it off, snap mode off. So it will run smoothly. After that, we have to create suppose line. So we will limits and all those concepts uh, which we learn in 2D will be same. So if you want to draw a bigger drawing, you have to set the limit. So next we will start with line. We want to create that cube that we have seen right now. So we will give first point. Then we will make here ortho on so that our line will come straight. Straight and in desired angle automatically. So it is coming whether uh, it is coming in 150 degree automatically. So here we have to give the length. Suppose 10 is 10, 10 by 10 by 10 cube we want to create. So we will give length as 10. Then again vertical direction, 10 length, press enter, give 10, press enter. So in this way we have covered left, left side of the cube. So we want to go on the right side. So to go on to right side you have to use F5 as a shortcut to change the isoplane. So you have to use F5. So by changing F5 here the plane has been changed to top now. But we want to go on the right side so we will again press the F5. By pressing F5, you can change the top. Now, uh, current plane is right plane. So again, we will give here the length of 10, 10, 10. So left and right side we have completed. So we want to draw in top portion. Again, I want to change the plane. So again, I will press the F5. And I have this top, iso isoplane top. Again, I will create the line of 10 by 10, 10, 10. So this cube is created properly, isometric cube. After that, now suppose in uh, isometric, offset command don't, uh, don't work because offset gets parallel. But uh, in place of offset, you have to use copy command in the case of isometric because you have to copy in angular format, but offset will uh, straight line. In straight line, it will make the offset. Therefore, you have to use copy, copy, select object, enter then specify base point normally don't specify inside take it in the empty space so it will not create any problem then give the direction where you want to give go and put the length by how much distance you want to go in that direction so by 10 distance so i will put here 10 distance and enter so it has okay 10 will actually offset on that so i will take it as a 5 distance suppose 5 enter so it has created an offset of 5. So in this way, uh, in place of offset, you have to use copy command in isometric. So for creating circle, you have to use ellipse. 
then right click and isocircle option is there it will be added once you shift to isometric mode isocircle then specify center here i want to draw midpoint then it is a drawing in top mode so i will change the isoplane using f5 and i will come on right side i will give the radius of 5 so this circle is created suppose i don't want this line so i will remove it and then i want the same circle li like this here also so i will just copy this circle there so i will say copy select object enter base point will be this end point second point is this end point then right click and enter so here one line should be there joining both the circle so i will say line and you have to use the quadrant object snap so he quadrant from this quadrant to this quadrant so it will draw it exactly now i will trim the unwanted objects so from this object and these two object i want to trim enter then remove the unwanted objects enter right click enter so in this way we have created isometric object with a arc in it so after that uh, to give the dimension we have to use align dimension here aligned so we'll be using the annotation annotative we already seen this in our previous lecture how to use annotative so here we will create uh, aligned so isometric drawing in isometric drawing you have to give dimension using aligned define first point second point then define the location for the dimension so it is coming very small so i will increase the isometric scale to 1s to 4 so it is visible properly and in that i don't want these zeros and all those things so i will just go to dimension style modify primary units i will make it single digit i want it to be above i want iso standard okay close so it is properly showing but it is going down downward so i want it to be aligned to this extension line should be aligned to this this line so we know that this line angle is 150 degree so using dimension edit you can align that so dimension edit take oblique option then select object which you want to align this 10 i want to align enter or right click then specify the angle so we know this angle is 150 degree so we will give we want to align, align to 150 degree so that dimension has aligned to 150 degree there so we will take some more trials with dimension suppose i want to give dimension to this i want to dimension to this i want to give dimension to this so it is not necessary but for learning purpose we will just try the align again oblique dimension edit oblique so i want to align so you can at a time you can align multiple dimensions also if they are in the same direction then press enter oblique angles now this la line we want to align to this line so we will be aligning the extension lines not the dimension line that you have to keep in mind so normally make the student make the mistake they try to align the dimension line so you uh, you have to align the extension line with this line so this line angle is 30 degree so we will give the angle of 30 degree enter so those lines are aligned properly so again we will align this dimension edit oblique select object enter so now i want to align this uh, with this vertical line so i will give 90 degree so in this way it has aligned to it properly then you can uh, if you want to make it more attractive you can use the gradient hatch also so using gradient hatch you can give a special fill effect so it will look very attractive suppose i want to give this effect inside this preview so in this way you can color complete object using different colors and all those things and you can make the isometric very attractive and you can give a 3d like effect to it suppose i again use a gradient i want to use some other color suppose suppose i want to use some pinkish color okay then i want this to be added to this preview in this way you can make your drawing more attractive in isometric so that's all we have completed our, our isometric lecture thanks for joining